Hospital Porters, pride and dignity. Stop the new world order. Welcome to Hapanwo TV. You may be wondering what I was doing just then. Well, what I was actually doing was I was standing still on the street. And I was standing still on the street because someone, let me get, a few, let me get this, the framing right, yeah. Um, I was standing still on the street to demonstrate something that what I did could get me arrested. But how do I know this? Well, I've received a letter. Well, it's not a letter, actually. It's a kind of like a circular here. Well, actually, it was my girlfriend, not me. It's Russia Borough Council. I'm in Oxford. But um, it says here, Dear resident, reports of antisocial behaviour. We are writing to inform you that we have been receiving a number of complaints regarding antisocial behaviour in your area. These complaints are as follows. Loud music, rowdy behaviour, the smoking of drugs, youths loitering. See that there? Let's see. This is the view find. There we are, see? That's it. Right. Please be informed that this has caused great concern and distress and requires residents to take steps to ensure it does not continue. Because the impact of antisocial behaviour has on those who experience it. We take all reports of antisocial behaviour very seriously and we will consider all available legal actions to resolve this. However, in order for us to consider any type of action, we need our residents to keep us informed of the incidents when they occur. Please be assured that any information provided to us will be treated as confidential and will not be identified to any alleged perpetrators. And they give you a helpline to call so you can report this various antisocial behaviour. Now, <coughs> on the one hand, um, there's four, there's four c categories here of antisocial behaviour they're talking about. Loud music, yeah, can be... If someone's playing very loud music, you know, in late at night, yeah, fair enough, that can be annoying for other people. Rowdy behaviour, which I suppose means violent, bad language, things like that. Fair enough. Smoking of drugs, well, you know what I think about the drug laws, but technically it's still on the statute books that that, um, that is an offence. Now, youths loitering, this is the curious one. Lo youths loitering. What do they mean by youths loitering? Well, loitering is standing still, just like I was just then. So could, this is what I mean by what they're talking about youth. Now, do I count as a youth? Well, I sometimes think I think I do. I don't consider myself old. Uh, but obviously, I'm not like a teenager or something. But then, th this letter doesn't actually define what it meant by youth. At what point, what's the cutoff point between when youth cease to be a youth? Is it 18? Is it 21? Is it 25? So, what they're saying is, this could be interpreted, this letter. They're saying if you see somebody, or maybe a group of people, of course, I mean, we all know what this means, sort of like on an intuitive level. It means a group of sort of young lads hanging around together on a street corner, you know. That, yeah, that can be a prelude to these other types of antisocial behaviour. But the idea that is it defined properly, that's what I'm saying. It basically means somebody who is below a certain age standing still on a public highway. That's what they're talking about. So you see, you see, it's all a little bit vague, and this is what the, this is what the authorities like to do. They like to put out very, very vague guidelines, oh, and then get us to go along with them because we think it benefits us. They give you good reasons for it. Curious, isn't it? Who should we? I mean, well, how can I resolve this? That's the question. I know. I'm going to take this letter to the people who do supposedly know the law. I'm going to take it to the police. OK, I've got to go to work now. Um, I don't have time to do any more. Unfortunately, as you can see, my, my attempt to film in the police station secretly, secretly film in the police station, didn't go very well. Um, I had the camera in, this, in my pocket, oh, just in there, and... Um, and it, the mustard went off while it was in my pocket. I switched off. Um, I need one of those little spy cameras, you know, like <coughs> um, Stan uses, you know, Stan, um, Space Cowboy 1954. You know, when he goes into the airport and 
approaches the pilots and questions them about chemtrails and things like that. I need one of those cameras. Um, I mean, I could have always, well, I could have always done what um, Charlie Veach does, you know, and just gone in there, putting back cameras blazing. Ah, oh, I want to, and they'll say, "Stop filming, please, sir. I'm allowed to film in here. I pay for this police station, and um." And I'm not, I'm stealing your photons, man. I'm just stealing your photons. I'm not an employee of, of, of Thames Valley Police and stuff like that. And 9-11 was not an inside job. It wasn't. Ugh. I mean, I could have done all that, like Charlie does. And he does it very well, but... No, I didn't want, that wasn't the purpose of me going in there. I mean, I spoke to a, a policewoman, a nice lady, very, very polite, friendly. Um, I just wanted to ask her, I just, I just basically wanted to get information. And I'm going to, if I'm waving a camera in her face, she's not going to want to give me any. Um, all in all, she, it, she wasn't that helpful actually, um, because she was almost as vague as that letter is. I asked her about, for instance, I asked her the questions I asked in the first part of this film. What's the actual definition of youth? And she said, someone under 18. And um, I said, well, does that mean if someone under 18 is standing still on a public street, you can you can arrest them and she says what's well, if i've asked them to move on and they haven't moved on or if they're just like causing trouble you know and she says it was all very vague like if they're just being troublesome she kept repeating things like that um and um so i said uh, all right so look i know that i know we, of course we know instinctively what she's talking about we're talking about basically a bunch of guys hanging around on the street looking menacing all right that can be a prelude to antisocial behavior but um it, it seems that she couldn't give me the legal definition of what constituted a situation where the police would be concerned and when they wouldn't so there's no sort of like dividing line between the two which means of course that the if the if there's no sharp dividing line and the people are all in favor of it the police if they want to can push can push the definition into an area it wasn't before for instance, arresting me for standing on the street like I was at the beginning of this film. And this is the kind of thing we have to be wary of because at the moment the, the government is very, very keen to introduce more and more a more authoritarian society in many, many different ways. And we've been observing this now for many years. It's getting worse and worse, whether it's the school trying to take my daughter's fingerprints or people, police, people always asking to see a passport and stuff like that. Or the numerous, I mean, you, you've already thought of another example. You've just thought of another. I mean, it's everywhere, isn't it? And so I suppose that is our concern. And um, so that, I think, is, I hope I've given you something to think about today. Um, anyway, this letter here, maybe I should, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll write to Rushcliffe Borough Council and I'll let you know what they say if they give me a reply. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Papanwo TV. Oh, it's a, just that car come past. Now I'm off to work. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hospital Port as pride and dignity stop the new world order.